you ever get the sense sometimes that you're not supposed to be somewhere? I got that feeling when I walked into this this part of town, which is sort of um, the shipyards. And I was just walking along here. I thought, this is this is public property. It's a public walkway by the side of the river, um, and it looks very industrial. And there's lots of big container moving uh, equipment because uh, this is where they load and unload barges that that move goods. It looks a little bit foreboding, and it made me think of something, which is that one of the big lessons I learned from uh, going to Draper University, one of the big things that kind of hit me while I was there, was that um, I, I realized that we had all these incredible people come and speak, very successful entrepreneurs, um, very successful investors, and I realized there was really no difference between us and them, the students and them. We were, there was no um, sort of huge difference anyway. They, they were a little bit older, a little bit more experienced, but they were human beings, just like all of us. Um, very intelligent, very um, ambitious, um, people who had fears and hopes and dreams. And and I just that really struck me was that, that, that there was no real, no difference, you know? That what they could do, any of us could do as well. And I think that's something that Steve Jobs said once as well, many, many years ago. He said, um, when you look around the world, look, look around at everything, all the amazing things that exist, you, you have to remember that all of this was created by people no smarter than you. And it's true. When you meet these, the most successful entrepreneurs in the world face to face, you realize they're no smarter than you no better looking than you, no taller than you. There's just nothing that really sets them apart from you or me. But there was one thing, maybe, an attitude that I noticed that very successful people have that other people don't have so much, or that certainly I don't have so much. And that is an attitude of, um, kind of, I guess you could call it confidence, but it's sort of, Maybe you could call it the the willingness to break rules and and not worry what people think about you. Um, but I can imagine that if any of them came here, they wouldn't feel uncomfortable about walking here, where it seemed like it was a little bit foreboding. It was a little bit um, out of place. I think there's something really important to remember is that wherever you go, you should feel like you have the right to be there, unless someone tells you otherwise. Maybe it, maybe it is private property. But, but you shouldn't set those limitations on yourself. That's the, the quickest way to fail, and it's related to the limitation that most people set for themselves and I set for myself, which is that, oh, I'm not good enough, I'm not smart enough to do this, um, I haven't got enough experience. And, you know, t talking about a, a project or an, a venture or an, a business idea, when we set those things up for ourselves, before other people have even given us the feedback, then we're really wasting the opportunity. So that's all I want to say is, you don't know until you start. And, and that's why I started this video blog series as well. Today I watched a couple of the older videos. I don't often do that um, because I hate looking at myself on camera. Like most people, most people just don't like that. But it is one of the best ways to improve um, how you speak and how you, how you present yourself on camera is to look at the way that you are when you are recorded because our, our image of ourselves the perspective that we have of ourselves in our minds is is very different from what other people see from of us and so i think it's really important that we reflect and we look at ourselves from a from a neutral perspective one of the ways to do that is to create a recording listen or watch the recording another way to do that is to ask people for feedback all the time and and take it with a lot of gratitude and um, even if it's even if it's negative or you don't think it's very helpful. Um, so, yeah, I think that's it for today. Maybe I'd just like to say, believe in yourself and believe that you have the right to be here, wherever, wherever this is. I don't know what this is. I don't know where I am, but I have the right to be here. This is, the world is mine. The world is yours. That's it. I'll see you tomorrow.